What's going on guys? Thanks for stopping back by once again to Wristwatch Addiction. My name is Paul. I'll be your host as always for the next few minutes. In front of me I have a Bulova Anniversary Edition Lunar Pilot Chronograph in titanium and gold. And in front of me in this box I have the newest iteration of the Lunar Pilot. This one in a white dialed blue panda configuration so if you want to take a look at that with me go over it see what it's all about i hope you'll stick around we'll be right back all right guys so getting right into it before we start if you do end up liking this video i hope you will hit that like button it's the only way youtube really pushes out the channel but Digging right into this box, you can see this is the same Bulova case that you get with the previous versions of the Lunar Pilot. Not a lot has changed from the first gen to the current as far as casing. Your gold leaf Bulova emblem on a flat satin gray case, but inside a whole lot has changed. Bulova calls this the watch inspired by the famed Bulova chronograph that was customized for lunar conditions by Bulova engineers and worn during the Apollo 15 mission. It was worn during Apollo 15 by Commander Dave Scott. Bulova wasn't even aware of this watch that you can see the first generation of here on my wrist until he put it up for sale at auction and Bulova was like wait you had this in your possession all this time you wore this on the moon and you didn't even notify us and then since have created the one that's on my wrist the anniversary edition for the 50 years of the moon landing and now this correct 43.5 millimeter case size with the polished steel case true to Dave Scott's one-off chronograph watch that was actually worn on the moon. And absolutely beautiful in this new modern white and blue panda dial with these blue pushers. Original case back to the first generation, the second generation of the Bulova Lunar Pilot. Chronograph denoting that moon mission by Commander Dave Scott, and then past that, this very, very nice um, dual deployant or butterfly dual button deployant um, release system here. And as I close it, you can see we have the Bulova Accutron tuning fork emblem on that butterfly deployant in this beautiful polish. Um, these are push pins, so you don't get screws on this watch, but that's the only shortcoming I see on this entire watch is they still use push pins instead of screws. The watch itself is the same movement as in the previous generation of the Bulova Lunar Pilot. It is their proprietary uh, movement and then like I said it is now on a 43.5 millimeter case that movement inside is a high beat MP 20 quartz movement which gives you a smooth sweeping center seconds hand uh, just like the anniversary edition I'm holding up here and you can see that 45 millimeter case versus the 43.5 millimeter case and while it's a little less noticeable here in this dark titanium it's very noticeable in the standard lunar pilot and we'll look at that here in a little bit um, bracelet is stainless steel case is stainless steel you do have super luminova uh, hands and markers on this piece as I put it on my wrist here. Uh, the deployant clasp, the double pusher 
butterfly clasp is very solid. It's one of the most solid um, clasps that I've used. It's actually even a little difficult to close. It's so strong, which is not a bad thing in the least. I'm, I'm uh, definitely applauding that. It's a six hand chronograph with uh, sub dials at three, six, and nine. Those are recessed into the case. You do have applied markers, just like the previous version. Um, this is a triple level dial. You have your outer number track, then you have your primary layer, and then you have your applied indices. So a lot goes into this dial that um, you wouldn't see on a lot of watches, even in this price point. And the price point did go up to right at $900. $895 off of the Bulova website. Uh, the crystal is the same anti-reflective sapphire crystal with impact and shatter resistance that was in all of the iterations of the Lunar Pilot, the 45 millimeter and now these 43.5 millimeters as we look outside here at this beautiful watch. And you can see inside it almost looked white and black panda. It is clearly a beautiful blue outdoors with silver sub seconds hands and that outer silver colored number track just below the blue internal chronograph. The internal chronograph made to protect that chronograph bezel much like the Bulova I'm sorry, not Bulova, but uh, Omega Speedmaster Mark II that was thought to be the replacement for the Moon Watch by Omega and then ultimately rejected by um, NASA themselves. So Bulova had this idea well before Omega did for space exploration. A uh, number of people ask about the pushers while I throw it on once again. You can see that tight fitting uh, double deployment butterfly. Um, the pushers are the shape they are, so it was easier for astronauts to press them while wearing their uh, spacesuit, while wearing their thick gloves. Uh, your lug lip width stays the same at 20 millimeter lug width. Um, the quartz movement again stays the same. Uh, it is a three pronged quartz crystal with a frequency of 262 kilohertz uh, that is eight times greater than a standard quartz leading to extreme accuracy. This is my most accurate watch in the first generation and the anniversary edition. I would assume that this Bulova is going to be no different since it's the exact same movement. And you do get this secondary leather strap, which just completely changes the look of the watch altogether. One drawback of the strap, it does hide the um, printing on the back of the case back. That denotes that moon landing, but so did the strap to the first generation bull of a lunar pilot. One thing they have corrected is because you get the strap and the bracelet on the watch with no need for a uh, spring bar tool, you have quick releases on both. You have a quick release on the bracelet, you have a quick release on this band, and the band and bracelet both fit on all of the 43.5 millimeter Bulova Lunar Pilot Chronograph. So gone are the days you have to pick between the leather version or the bracelet version to get the right mounting points. The first generation, as I've complained about, you if you got the bracelet version, the mounting point was different than the strap version. And for example, my strap version of the first generation will not fit a first generation bracelet because the mounting tabs, the, the holes drilled for the spring bars are in the wrong spot. So in unfortunate as that was, 
that has been corrected now with this new Bulova Lunar Pilot. And this does come in a black version as well. But this one, uh, the Blue Panda, and again, uh, you know, hearkening back to the correct size of the one that was worn on August 2nd, 1971 by Commander Dave Scott. His would have been a black dial like the first generation you can see here on the right, but I do absolutely love this modern Panda. And if you wanted the black dial, they do make the 43.5 millimeter like the one on the left in the dial configuration of the right now, minus that date uh, indicator of the first generation. And holding them up together, you can see the massive size difference. You wouldn't think 45 down to 43.5 would be that big of a difference, but it's massive. I cannot over, uh, I cannot overstate how big of a difference on the wrist these two watches are. One is a pie pan. It's always been a pie pan, but the other just fits more like a 40, if I'm being honest. Um, and if we talk back for a second about when the first generation on the right was released, you have to remember the day that these were released, the 45, 46, and 47 millimeter case diameter watches were the big thing. So when Bulova went to make this archive series, it makes sense they would have done a larger case. But now that watches are getting smaller again, that vintage pieces are so important once again, it makes sense for them to go back to the drawing board, pick up the 43.5 original diameters of the original Bulova Lunar Pilot Chronograph worn by Commander Dave Scott on the Apollo 15 mission and release it to the public. And that's exactly what they've done. I love it. I love it on the strap. I love it on the bracelet. I have to say, I think my favorite is it on the bracelet. At $895, it's basically the same price as the one to my left here, the anniversary edition. Uh, that was numbered and titanium. So some would say it's not a good value for money, but then keep in mind, once again, they're adding another strap as well. They had to completely redesign this case from ground up because all of the Bulova Pilot models previous were that 45. So let me know what you think. Is this a good value? Is it a good look? Are you wanting one? Do you have one? Do you love it? I do. This one was loaned to me by my good friend, Paul. I have to get it back to him, but I'm going to decide whether I'm doing the all black or the Panda, and I will be putting in an order for one myself very soon. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I hope you guys are having a great week. I should mention really quick, it's the one year anniversary of my podcast. They just notified me yesterday was the one year anniversary. So a uh, new, uh, new podcast episode coming soon. Peace guys. Bye bye.